Installing GDB. Mm -hmm. <laughs> start start by using brew install mm -hmm. GDB. If you don't have homebrew, check the link. This shows that I do have do not have ownership permissions. So let's see. Correct that. Really? Aye, aye. Alright, this is that command. And let's do our. Alright, that should process. Now we're at. So we'll rerun our brew install GDB. Downloading. Let that go. Very good. Now the next thing we need to do is. We need to do the code sign for the GDB executable. The way we're going to do this is by going to keychain access, open that up, we are searching for, we're going to go to keychain access, certificate assistant, to create a certificate, I'm going to call this after our GDB. Certs. And leave identity type as self sign. Certificate type is going to be code signing. Let me override the defaults. Continue. Continue. Leave serial number one. Change this to 999. And we'll skip through these. Skip, skip, skip. Skip. Oh, you can't keep that Alright, we got it. Now we're going to do keychain. We're going to switch that from login to system. Create. So it's is trying to modify, so you'll have to enter your info. Okay. Right. And it processes. Ta da! We're done with that. The next step is we are going to go to system here. We're going to right click and we're going to get info on GDB certs. And we are going to do trust. When using this certificate, make sure it's always trust. Trust that it's trust. Alright, I think we're done with that. <coughs> Now, let's see, the new certificate should be ready to use. All we're going to need to do is restart the task gate access control service. Utilities. And inside the activity monitor. But you're not going to, because you have to go to the activity monitor. View and then all processes. There it is. So now make sure task gated. There it is. And then we're going to view quit process. Quits. You should see it disappear. It disappears. Give it a minute or so. And then come back to it. Uh, what I found to work just as well is by going up to Force Quits, Finder, and Relaunch. And that will actually process everything for the quicker. So now, there it is, it's back. Alright. The next step we're going to do is open up Terminal. Again. So, if you 
renamed it. Look at my truck. Next wow. thing to do and is to clear your clips. I choose the clip ID for C. Okay, now we're going to launch our application. Select the directory. I'm just going to leave the default users instead of documents for space. Alright, we're almost done. All we have to do now is go to Eclipse, Preferences, CC, Debug. Okay, so if there's no GDB section in the C++ debug subtree, close the preference window and try to first start a debugging session for any project. So that seems to be our problem, so let's create a new project, C++ project. Let's do a hello world and we're going to call this. Yeah. We're going to use the Mac OS X GCC. And now, let us run debug. Found very good, so let's go preferences, C debug. No, still program rails. Let me try to build it first. Then. Now let's go back. Let's go to C plus plus. And then go to debug. There it is. Now let's go over here to GDB debugger. And we're going to put in our path to our install GDB that we homebrewed with. And our path is here. Very good. We're going to apply. OK. And now, I believe we have success. One last time. So this is Choice, yes. Voila. 
you ready? Are you ready to start programming in C++ on your Mac in Eclipse? Well, there you go. Have fun. Check back for more stuff.